Well, I met Timaya at Hill, the Doc Wells um, um, project, Street to Star. And I was uh, a facilitator. I was giving a lecture on teaching, coaching on um, creativity and how to discover um, your talent and hone your talent. And I spoke at length. The way I am, I drifted into so many topics. And when I left, uh, they all came out, all the students. And Timaya particularly waited and got a chance and said, I want you to produce me. Plus, I want to come with you to Lagos. I said, okay, you know what, I'll go first, um, finish with them, and when you know there are no ties with Hilda, and there are no squabbles, but I'll let Caro know. And Caro said, if he wants to come with you, let me come. So that's Hilda's um, husband. And he came to Lagos to see me. I was in Bagara then, so every morning we will walk, write songs. The three particular songs we walk on were Timayo on Fire, which I personally wrote. And um, the Mama, which was a song he brought, and also uh, plant, uh, Plantain, uh, I think, uh, I know, um, the Joe song. Uh, I've forgotten it. The, the Joe song. Yeah, yeah. And so we worked on the songs every day for three months. And then I finally asked Danny Wilson, my old time friend, if he would give me free sessions in his house. And Danny would give me free sessions. And so I took my to Danny's house. Uh, on my way to Danny's place, I called then my younger brother, Paul Play. And I said, Paul Play, I want to go record. I need an engineer. Who can I work with? He said, Work with my boy. That boy, why they work with? Why well, I get one engineer? I said, Who is he? He said, K Solo. I said, Okay, give me his number. So he gave me his number. I called K Solo up. K Solo told me, Bros, I'll come, but you go take care of my taxi and you go pay me some so amount of money. I said, No problem. I paid Kesolo to walk. The first time we tried something, it wasn't working. I said, this is not what I want. Kes this guy was, I said, do another beat. So I guided him at what I wanted, and eventually we created the beat. And that's why I say, when you produce a song, people say, um, there's a difference between an engineer, a creative engineer, and a producer. A producer is a man who puts the things together and has the idea, wrote the song, and developed it. Yes, there's a, there's a beat producer, but there's not a producer. That's the way I see it. I've been in this long enough to know you don't take someone's credit who starts, who, who has the idea to start something. Anyway, to cut a long story short, Timaya was produced. I traveled and um, I was abroad. At, um, he wanted a CD for something. I didn't, the data for something. So I told my wife to hand it over to him. And I think a marketer now signed him. I don't know how he met the marketer signed him. But I didn't have a label because I wanted to sign him onto my label as at the time. So, but I came back, he was already with a label, so I, I let it go because the way I am, like I said, I would always find new stars and always create. And I didn't, I didn't accept to work with Timaya to cage him or to forcefully sign him. And so I, I didn't make hassles about if there are issues of rights or anything. It doesn't bother me. He's my younger brother. His early brother is like a young brother, not dog of Timaya. So Timaya is family, and I'm proud of him. So that's what it makes me proud. It would be stupid of me to pick issues out of this. Because here I would say it. You know me, I say the way I say it. I say it the way it is. I said to him, I personally called. I said, maybe he will shock me, so let me wait. But if he doesn't, it will be on record. I called my, my boy and said, come over. Support this young one and give them hope, and that's what I expect. Possibly even come and give the young man some courage that you do a collab with him. I'm not taking anything away from you, you're a superstar, but you're not going to you're not going to rewrite history. It is there. The past is the past. You can't take it away. So maybe because I, the way I talk, people think I'm too blunt. But if there's one person I expect to be here, I expect Maya to be here for me. Well. Um, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed because I almost expected it. Well, um, once beaten, they say twice shy. I take it this way. I'm used to it, so I'm better prepared. But I won't let it go again.